to get started? Well, I do. That's a lie. There, there is one up in Nashville. The that we have a prison ministry that we're very so. It's just it. It's in Nashville. I need right. something. I want to work in the prisons here. I mean, we've got we've got a jail here. Yes. You know, I, I know I can't go to Nashville and do it. I just I, the time time wise right now. So a I'm lot sorry, of time, I'm going down a rabbit. No, hole. No, no, it's a good rabbit hole. A lot of times, um, there's a chaplain. Cameras just came on. Yay! Well, now somebody I gotta did set like, up. <laughs> I can't be slouchy now. <laughs> Thank you, OU. Right. right. <laughs> it's like it's a good thing we didn't show up in PJs, right? <laughs> oh, um, I think so. The I actually participated both at the one in, in Nashville and Sumner County, and so there was a chaplain that was assigned to Sumner County that kind mm-hmm. of oversaw a lot of the programs that came in. So I would just check and see who your local chaplain is for. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have t- uh, Tennessee Prison Outreach Ministry that yes. our church is associated with, and um, done a lot of work with them. But I've never gotten to go into, the, and, and I mean, get to go into the prisons. We had someone that we were close to that was in prison at one time, and went to see them, and just what it meant to them. Yes, just to come in and visit them. That you would be, and it's like absolutely, I'll come visit you. I just don't know. That's one of those things. It's it, you just don't know how to facilitate it. You're thinking, well, how do I even begin that? And then we've got a sweet, sweet couple. I mean, I don't know how old they are, but they're getting on up there, and they've been involved in prison ministry forever. And so I, I've got the people I can ask. It's just right. I haven't done it. Talking with Lisa Fort, and she is with, tell them the, the name of your program. Yes, Redeem Her Now. Redeem Her Now. And something I want to touch on that you mentioned when we first started, and this is a this is a logistics thing. You said for now we're at such and such. Now, are you getting ready to possibly move? Because that's something you kind of touched on when you were here with Rachel. So ultimately, um, we feel like that that part of the vision that God's given us is that we will have our own space one day. But until then, we've had some generous churches that allow us wow. to come and utilize their space. So ideally, what what is still on my heart until we get that spot is to maybe have three different churches that we can just one on the north side one on you know the the northeast and just just to really follow his direction but so I like the idea of being able to be a little more you're kind of a mobile ministry yeah so for for the moment so I just I wanted to clarify (laughs) that because I remember you talking about that but I just for people who might just just be finding out about this um to say they're there for now yes they, are, they have an anticipate anticipation of where's god going to take us and Absolutely. so it's not like well we're here today and we're going to be there and we're not going to be there next month right now until the foreseeable future right, right? Or at least um at least through the summer and okay. or even if, okay. if he switches us and and at any point this year it'll be probably you know august on but yes we are, are constantly just asking him where he where he wants us and where we can be and so. and just look him up on social media it's super yes. easy to find redeem her now redeem her now and uh it is it, it is refresh it's a girl's not out. It's a chance to come out and just refresh. Um, we talk a lot about church night on Wednesday night and how we just can't hardly get through the week. I, I, I've always been a, a, a church night person, a Wednesday night person, and I, I feel disconnected if I don't have a place to kind of regather. And there's been very few times in my life, seasons in my life, where I have not been a, somebody that touched touch base with people my people my family my church family on Wednesday nights now I've had some seasons but for the most part that's always been my thing and it is it is so rejuvenating well the same thing will be said for this because man coming off on the end of a hard week and just kind of going and you just refresh with your sisters and um I just think it's a beautiful idea I think it's a wonderful idea and well, and I one just of, want to encourage yeah. you know everybody to to reach out and see what's going on. Go ahead. Yes. Now, one of the things that we are intentional about, and and part of the other side of the ministry that we do is the one on one kind of like discipleship, counseling, coaching um, okay. area, and it really is what we have found is that there are a lot of people generally, and this isn't again to. Um, poo poo the church, but sometimes there's things that we're dealing with that we don't feel like that we can share with people that we do life with just right. because of, you know, whether it's the judgment thing again or 
I'm just going to say it too, the gossip thing, (laughs) all the things like, so we, we are able to walk through and journey with women one-on-one in a confidential setting to facilitate the healing and freedom and victory that is ours. Mm -hmm. Very much. I love it. And it's just, um, you know, we have that, um, celibate recovery we have when we go into open share, uh, we have this little group of women that we have just become so close to each other and it's because we're open and honest with each other and we can be, and we know it's a safe place and it's priceless and you just can't get enough of that. But, uh, join them. Oh, here comes Gwen. Let her come on in here. I'm going to do an, I'm going to do a commercial while you guys get settled. If you're joining us and you're wondering what went wonky, everything just kind of froze up. So it's just one of those technical mornings, and I was not late. I was here probably 15 till ILU, but I went, (laughs) he's going, just stop it, Laverne. But thank you, ILU. Our president of Ebenezer Broadcasting got online, and he fixed it. Thank you so much. But uh, I do want to pause now and just say, if you tune into the show, the very first part of it, is audio only, and then just magically the cameras come back on. So uh, just just stay with us and bear bear with us through just the the black screen because we just decided to go ahead and just give it a shot and start talking. But we do need to talk about our sponsors. And oh my goodness, Cumberland Connect! I got to turn the microphone up for this one because Gwen Harder is part of the Gig Gig Club. I know. Oh, we love it. And we, what it what this is, Lisa, to kind of fill you in. If you're a Cumberland Electric customer, so you got to be a Cumberland Electric customer. Are you? Yes. So do you have Cumberland Connect? I. I don't know if I have Connect. So it's Cumberland Connect. Are you connected it's yet? It's the Wi-Fi for Cumberland Connect. Oh no! Yes. Not yet. Oh my well, God. Well, I think they're running cables or the okay. whole thing in our neighborhood. Like yeah. I keep getting brochures that it's coming. Really? Yes. She must. She must be in Carrie Roberts' neighborhood. No, she's in, she's in <laughs> Hendersonville. <laughs> I'm in Henderson, <laughs> Hendersonville because, and I knew that because I, whenever I moved from when Mark and I first married, we moved into Hendersonville. Timberlake Drive, I think, is where we live. Mm-hmm. And um, that was like in 89 we lived there, and we had to come up here. Who, who knew I was going to be oh my moved? God. I came to that building right yeah, up here to pay your bill. on Fifth Avenue to no, to set up my service. Oh, okay. And then I just mailed the bill. Mm-hmm. But that's where I came, here in Springfield. I remember going, Springfield? Where's Springfield? <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll never forget it. But it's just so, it's so weird now that I've lived here since 92. Yep. Wow. But I remember moving to Hendersonville and having to come up here into this little burb. I was like, where in the world am I going? And I had to get my map out. I was the traffic reporter. And I was like, where am I going? I mean, because this was, you know, back in the day. Mm-hmm. We didn't have GPS and all that stuff. And, and now they've uh, got the greatest Wi-Fi in the state. I know. So, oh, you're going to be so excited, Lisa. It is wonderful. Yeah. We both were, uh, were you at and That was our only That's choice. Mm-hmm. That was all we had for an yeah. option. And it was not good. No. I mean, I had terrible, I had like a 3.5 upload speed. What'd you have? 1.5. Oh, it was like she, I mean, it's like, why even bother? <laughs> you know? You almost hear the dial-up <laughs> Why even bother with hers? It was like the and fax machine sound. <laughs> what are your speeds now? Five, six hundred? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The gig is 80 bucks. I was paying $65 for pitiful, pitiful yeah. stuff. And um, I've, I've been about a year I've been switched. And so, Kimberly, and, and I know we're taking too long to give this ad, but it's just so good. We're so excited it about it. And we're so yeah. excited. Lisa's going to have access. It's incredible. You know? So if you're a Cumberland Electric customer, they're, they're, they're going to be knocking on your door really soon. And uh, I've talked to them, you know, hey, have you got everybody ready to connect? And I guess it's your neighborhood that they're waiting on, maybe. maybe I, don't I don't know. know. But nonetheless, reach out to them, put your address in, and it'll tell you if they're in your neighborhood or if they're about to get there. But you can go to CumberlandConnect.org, CumberlandConnect.org, or you can give them a call. Let me find that 1-800 number again, 1-800-987-2362. 1-800-987-2362. And remember that if you're somebody that's you know struggling financially, they have the Affordable Connectivity Program. And if you qualify, you can get up to $30 per month for broadband services. To help with the broadband services, they've got packages starting at just $30 per month. You don't have to have a gig. It's, it's a lot, but why not? But it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Be sure and let them know that all of us sent you, that one street over, that you turn Gwen, and eventually we'll get Lisa on board, too. And, uh, just turn the mics on yeah we're just going old school that's usually <laughs> well when i came in with rachel last time i'm like why do we have a camera like, yeah, you were so surprised <laughs> uh-uh. 
That ain't my black screen. She had to remind me. She's like, Laverne, you can do radio without cameras. Right. I can be heard and not seen. It's fine. (laughs) I've been in radio since 1980. I knew that. It's like, but I'm so used to the cameras now. I'm like, well, I don't have my cameras. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. (laughs) Well, and that's what I told him. Like, I don't know uh, anything about broadcasting. Like, are they connected now? Like, do we have to be? The blonde hair girl figures it out. Thank you. And Ilya's going, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) He's like, I know Ilya must just, he just must shake his head like this at me sometimes. I I think I'm getting more scattered the older I get, Ilya. So hang on, brother. Mm. He's my friend. He loves me. Loves me anyway, even though I'm a scattered hot mess. He knows. Very me. funny. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So what is the theme tonight? Do we have a speaker tonight? What is the, what's going to be the theme for tonight? And we're talking about Redeem Her Now. This mm-hmm. is the program. Yeah. yeah. Gwen's interested. And now she, you, you observe Sabbath, so you'll start Sabbath tonight. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is something that I could that yeah. I could be a part of. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So tell me so, what to expect tonight. So for as far tonight, as the theme. um, our refresh night. We don't I don't know what the theme is. We have a speaker, Miss Christina Cato. Um, one of the things that I love about what the Lord's done with this is there are just different people that he'll put on my heart to ask to speak. So these may or may not be like these aren't going to be your your your, your typical, typical, you know, yeah, oh, I know you, this name or right. whatever. This is like, and this goes back to just the body being the body, mm-hmm. right? Like right. we have a We've story. We've all we, got a story. Yes. Yeah. Well, and we all can hear what the father has to say. Mm-hmm. Like we have that ability to be still before him and go, okay, have, you've given me this opportunity. It's like that whole thing we were talking about. I'll say yes, Jesus. Um, but we have the ability to hear him. And relate his heart and his message. Yeah. And so it might not be the most, and I'm not, Christina, I'm not talking to you if you're, <laughs> if you're listening, but I mean, there's times that people are, are nervous, yeah. right? Yeah. Like if you say, um, or like 500 times, it's fine. Like that's how we talk in right. normal conversation. So it really isn't being, I got, if I, well, this is one of those, like there's so many different times in, in presentations that we get caught up in the form Mm -hmm. you know and what we're saying and how we're saying it and so fixated on that versus just just being us right like how the lord created us and that message and he's so good even if we keep in our mind even if it ministers to one person if it touches one person that's that's that was the right score you better believe it Mm -hmm. right he does that's More than mind. that, but even like in our mind, like he went, he goes after the one. So if there's one word, if there's one sentence, if mm-hmm. there's one paragraph that, that touches the heart of another woman in that room, or right. even because we do have it, I don't think I mentioned that last time. Um, you know, you know, Brandon and Jenny Lipscomb, mm-hmm. um, Brandon videos for us and we'll edit the videos and put them out on, on wow. YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel. So mm-hmm. it even goes beyond um, that night too. But, um, so I don't know what the Lord's, I, I've gotten little v- bits and pieces from Christina. I don't know what he's finally settling with her, but mm-hmm. it will be good. So it's we'll, so funny that you mentioned the Lipscombs because he came into this. We, we had uh, last night our parent teacher meeting and uh, he comes in, he goes, do you remember me? I'm, I'm Jenny's husband. He goes, I need an SD card. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> So, because he was filming the, the little fashion show, so they're wonderful. They're just yes. wonderful. Yeah. But yeah, and yes. so I remember you telling me that he did that for you. So we can watch this. And we, so we can, if we can't be there tonight, we can watch it. Yes. Usually we, because he does this, he volunteers. Yes. In this capacity for That's us, why I wanted he to give usually, him a shout out because right, right. he has a company he that does, does video production. Yes. So give him a call. And he has a full time job on top yeah. of it. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. So they, they're so awesome. He's generous they're awesome. in that in that time. Well, and I. I had no idea how much time goes into that either. So it's like, thank you, Brandon Lipscomb. You are amazing. Yeah. Um, so usually it's about a month. Like we give him that, that month or, or even a little bit longer if he needs it. So whatever tonight we'll be able to hopefully release at the beginning of April is kind of what our mm-hmm. rhythm has been with it. So, But we can see the old ones. But you can there. see the old ones, yes. We how have long have you been doing this? Oh, goodness. When was our first one? 
That was after COVID because everything came. We were going to launch our first one. It was the first week that the shutdown happened. Like Mark. we had. Oh, my wow, goodness. Yes. You talk about an attack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like we were, we, we had the event scheduled that Saturday. So we had the fresh flowers. We, oh. everything. Came. Oh. So my dear friend, um, who is my, the one that does all of the decorating and dreaming on that part, she made little flower arrangements and delivered them to different people that the Lord put on her heart oh just because we were entering into that season. Right. So her ministry was just, here's some, here's some flowers on your doorstep. So, um, wow. So once we got out of jail, um, <laughs> we started, we did have our, at first we thought these were going to be under the umbrella of thrive, which is our annual conference. Now uh, we thought, well, are you wanting us to do this quarterly? Is, is kind of what we were initially thinking. And and then that was a big lift. I'm like, I don't know that we're supposed to do something that large quarterly. But as I was sitting with the Lord and processing, and he had put in my heart a couple years before, like just, just stirring for something monthly. Mm-hmm. And I'm going, I don't know how I'm going to pull this one off and yeah, how month, I'm going to get my husband. It is a lot. Yeah, well, yeah. and to even go, okay, really this is, is yeah. asking, you know, it's Greg, how do we, how can we do this? And we were... Um, in between services at church, and I just felt like the Holy Spirit, when we were kind of downloading what had transpired from that that weekend and how great it was, and he, he you know, he was asking, he was like, so what do you think? And I said, well, I said, I just, I just think this needs to be more frequent. I said, I don't think a once a year, I said, I don't even know, if, like, I don't, I don't know what he's saying. And I just felt like the Holy Spirit was like, now be still, which is a big deal. You know, it's like, shh, yes, the shush, shush, you don't need to say. And so he sat there for a couple of seconds. He goes, I think this need, I think you need to do this monthly. And I'm, so it just that confirmation. I'm like, yeah. so we just started that conversation of what does that look like? Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that, that he said, cause he, he asked me kind of, well, what, did, what would that look like in your head? Like, well, we come in and have service and, or, you know, have, have worship and word and just have that time of fellowship and community. And he was, well, this is on a Friday night. You need to have something. Are you going to have food? I'm like, no, why would I have food? Like, this is like, <laughs> I'm so tired. Like, why would I do that? And he goes, because it's a Friday night and people might become, well, we can get a couple bags yeah. of chips. Like it'll there be fine. Yeah. He said, well, how about I'll just, I'll do the menu. I'll cook. I'm like, we don't need to cook. We don't. Have you lost your mind? Yeah. And again, the Holy Spirit's like, shh. Just shh. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's volunteering yeah, to I do know. this. Let so, him help. Yeah. So he does the the menu and wow and and so what a, a couple hubby. Of the, I know well so some of wow. the other women their their husbands come to help oh, that's provide so cool. security and and just help serve and so it's just been really it's been really beautiful wow yeah. that's a lo- that's that's big that's so it cool is. It is. I, I love see I love getting the backstories on stuff like mm-hmm. this because yeah. it's always so stinking cool how God moves and just makes it happen yeah, yeah. I, I mean you know I, it's so funny because we. It's so interesting because, you know, when, when you when you try to force something and you think, okay, God wants me to do this, well, does he? Because mm-hmm. we kind of tried to force something like this at Madison, and we called it breathe, okay? Oh, that's good. But it just didn't catch because it was not him directing right. it. It was yeah. us going, we need a new idea. And then we were coming up with one, and it, and it seemed beautiful and wonderful. And what we did was beautiful and wonderful, but that wasn't his plan. Yeah, it didn't click. And then we stumbled into this thing called Celebrate Recovery that's taken on a life of his own mm-hmm. right. that we do on Wednesday nights. And we just, and he's just done it. He's done it. Yeah. yeah. It's not work it's for different. you. It just right. happened. And so now yeah. I'm sitting here listening to you, and I'm going, oh, that sounds like what we were trying to do with Bree. Mm. <gasps> well, and Maybe you know, we need to go and help yes, her with that. You should. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm well, serious. As I'm sitting here going, right. that's exactly what we were trying to do right. with Bree. Mm-hmm. Well, exactly. and it's, the, it's, it's coming together, and I know I've said it before. It's like it's coming together as the body of Christ, again, not – in denominations or right. that it's just what will happen. And this is what was beautiful. I was looking at um, my devotional this morning and, and pastor Troy Brewer, who I think is, I think he's in Texas. Anyway, I get the devotional. He does the numbers. Oh, okay. um, and mm-hmm. so today being three, one, it's the three is complete, right? Mm-hmm. One is unity. And mm-hmm. so that I'm like, of course it's on March 1st, complete unity. What happens mm. when the body 
is in complete unity. That's like whenever we come together, it's kingdom, y'all. It is. <laughs> well, and kingdom. Yeah. We, and it goes back to what we were talking about last time. Like we listen to the lies. We mm. listen to, you know, what, or or it's even something as like, well, it, the our bodies in order to function, every single cell. Every single cell has, has to work to, together. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For my finger to work, every there's multiple things that go mm-hmm. into that. And so sometimes I think people are, well, so I'm not on stage or I don't have the mic, so I can't be. Oh, no, no, no. You're you know, there. We, yes, you're there. Yeah. And I think that we've made it lopsided. Like we, when we read the New Testament and when we're not seeing the fullness of what we should be walking in Mm -hmm. as his followers it's like okay god how did we get this lopsided because i think for a long time at least for me i'd go into church and it's like oh you're the one with the microphone and the title and so you you are full-time ministry i will put my time you know i'll I'll support you you know it's like it and i didn't i didn't think it was my responsibility right right to participate you know what i'm saying i I totally get so many things oh yeah that we're missing, and it's not that, believe it. it's not the condemnation. It's not the striving to do better. It's you are an image bearer of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You are created in His image. So when I don't have that interaction with you, like I'm missing a part of the Father. I'm right. missing a part of the dynamic of who He is in us and through us collectively. Mm-hmm. And so when we don't realize that that, you know, so many times, and this is what I'm, I'm hoping one day, you know, as women get prepared to come tonight, it's not about just what we receive. It's what is your assignment? What are you coming? Like mm-hmm. you should be excited to come yeah. because you're there and mm-hmm. there's some, whether it's a smile, whether it's just acknowledging, you know, f- making eye contact with somebody. Like there's so many things right. that we just dis well, we all we all bring an energy to something yes you know we mm-hmm. all bring some type of energy and sometimes we're there to help someone else step out yes mm-hmm. you know our energy is going to intertwine with theirs and pull them out so that so that they can be what they need to be right and well, they they may not even realize it right all you have to do is think about those times that somebody was something super small to you and it had a powerful impact that they yeah. probably have no idea and don't remember that mm-hmm. you'll never forget Yep. And just let that be. I was talking with one of our sweet, sweet sisters the other night. And I, and, and my sweet sister Paula one night, you know, when somebody was struggling, she says, you know what? You don't, you don't, you don't have to be more than you're able. She goes, you just need to be a light. Not, you don't even have to be a big light. Just be a light. Mm-hmm. Just, be, just be a light. You know, and all of us can be a light. We don't have to be a big light. No. Nope. Just a light just to pierce the darkness a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, I made these little, I, I just love that. I was like, you just today, just be a light. You, awesome. don't, you don't have to be a big light. Just be a light. And I forget exactly how we phrased it, but um, we made these little plaques and I just love them. And this one woman who I hugged, she was struggling and she goes, you know, I have that plaque in my bathroom. I'm like, yes, just be a right. little light, just yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you just have no idea what, I, I will see different ones and when we get together in our groups and this one we'll be talking to this one and they'll say something well you when you said this last week it, mm-hmm. and I just love that but that's what this is all yeah. about and I love your name refresh yes <laughs> well and it's fun to say refresh right you almost feel like you need the hair you, you need a fan <laughs> you need yes, a fan yeah. <laughs> We'll get you all the stuff for the all next the props, time, right? yeah, you know, you spray yeah. of water. Well, and I think, you know, it is that encouragement. And what I love as you're saying that about the be the light, and that is in in our mind, we think we have to be big. It's like be big, go be, mm-hmm. go big or go home. Yeah. And yeah. it really it's about our yes. Mm-hmm. And as we and, and I know we are big lights. It's just we don't see it. You know, yeah. not all mm-hmm. the time do we get to hear how our lives impact somebody else I think it's I think it's beautiful when the Lord gives us that opportunity to hear or mm-hmm. overhear people sharing You're like oh my gosh look look I can see the right, dots look yeah. what's happening right, right. you know he gives us those those precious moments but so much of I think that will be revealed to us whenever we get to see him yeah yeah is that oh my gosh look at the the impact that my life you know and I and, I, and I'm thinking I'm here but what is that impact right mm-hmm. right others you know I was trying to see if I couldn't find the exact plaque it's a, it's somewhere in this thousands of things <laughs> I have on my phone 
but I might find it here in just a second. Um, I do. We're going to have to take another break, but we've got Gwen Harder joined us, and she messaged us early. Should I come in? I'm like, yeah, come on. <laughs> it's the girls. This is the kind of stuff we love. We love. Not that I don't love it when you know you boys come in and talk to us. Right. But it's really <laughs> nice just to have the girls here sometimes. Jack Martin's going. What about me, Laverne? You know, because we have Jack Martin in here uh, once a month as well, and. Um, but it's just, it is just so fun just to sit down and just talk about the things that, as women, that are unique to us. Yeah. Right? And the, that we and, struggle with. And we're talking to someone who understands. Mm -hmm. Who's been there. For real. Absolutely. Who knows it. So, yeah. let me do, let me do a break here. We're, we are going to have, even though we got started late, we had some, some major technical issues. Everything was just frozen. It was just weird. But, um, we're going to have to wrap it up at eight because we do have the wild doc coming in today, uh, from wild roots. Everybody loves him and he'll be in here straight up eight o'clock because it is the first Friday. And we'll just continue to remind you that if you want more of this, then you need to be at redeem her now tonight. Tell them the time location and all that real quick. We will be at We Are Church off of Hadley Avenue and Old Hickory Boulevard. Doors open at 6 for food and fellowship, and um, the service starts at 7. So all the ladies, teen girls, we'd love to have you. Oh, I do need to mention, we do not have child care. Okay. So doesn't mean you can't bring your littles, but you are responsible for your littles. There you go. <laughs> and that's, that's honestly and truthfully, that's one of our big struggles on Wednesday night. Because we have um, classes going on throughout the building, but then when we get into open share and all those kinds of things, then you're looking at more time. And so we, we can get them covered for that first hour, but then if you get into open share. So, Chaga, if that's something that's on your heart to help with the little ones, guys, mm -hmm. come on and, and help out. Because, I mean, that parents that have got littles, it is, you know, they need a, they need a breath every now and then. Yes. So maybe somebody will come to you and say, hey, I want to take on child care where you can bring child You can do child care. That'd be awesome, huh? Well, if they do that, then they need to pray in whoever's going to be the financial donation to pay for the insurance for that. <laughs> it's crazy, uh, all of really? the... Really? Wow. Oh there's additional, like, word. training for insurance and the liability just to even... Say that you your have child over yes, someone. Yes, really? Yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know So they can sponsor that? I'd be happy to... There you yeah, go. Right, there there you we go. Because, see, I hadn't thought about the mm -hmm. fact that we have that because we're an established church and we're... It's church night. So right. We've all got that going on. Yes. That's the reason why the, when you go to volunteer and they have you signed a bunch of forms and all that kind of stuff, do not, you know, get frustrated at your congregation when they ask you to do that. That's part of their insurance. Right. Yeah. They it's have the to have. Yeah. That's, whole, that's right. a, I had it's never heard that. Thing. Absolutely. That is why. Yeah. Okay. You know, while we're on the subject of kiddos, um, I don't have a lot of green clothing. Okay. This is, I, even though I'm a bobcat, green briar bobcat, I have black stuff with green writing on it little sebastian young sebastian 15 years old autistic that wandered off from his home up in the in sumner county mm -hmm. last i heard still missing yes the call this morning i just barely saw it on social media was wear green today to remind everybody to keep their eyes open for sebastian and you know it's just horrifying i can't even imagine mm -hmm. what those parents are going through yeah. i mean yeah i just can't even imagine so guys um just don't just just keep your eyes open. Do everything you can to find this young man and get him home safe. But if you and then if say you, a prayer. Yeah. Just oh big. Prayer. Big pray. Big yeah. pray. Mm -hmm. But and if you if you have not gotten dressed yet and you see a lot of people in green today, it's not for St. Patrick's Day because it's March. It's because I don't know if that was his school color, his favorite color. I'm not sure, but everybody says wear green today wear green. to remind everybody to keep looking for Sebastian. So wear green today. Everybody Continue to look and pray big for the return of that sweet young man uh, that wandered off from his home in the middle of the night. I can't mm. imagine what those parents are going through. But let me do my ad real quick, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to kind of wrap it up. Uh, but we, we are con continuing to, to just talk about the things that us girls need to reconnect, y'all. And this is a big one. Redeem her now. We want you to be a part of it. Um, I will be. I can't be tonight. I'm, I'm, y'all pray for me. Because I'm going, we're, we're, we're taking care of mom and dad's stuff. You know? That's hard. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime to go through. Yep. And I'm not going to get it done today, but I'm just, you know, because we, we're very blessed in that their, their farmhouse is part of a farm that my brother and sister-in-law and they own. Right. And I'm so thankful for that because we don't, we're not in a hustle to get everything out and yeah, get the poverty. Yeah. So that's not, that's not a concern. Yeah. We're just wanting to open it up so somebody else can make it home. 
Mm-hmm. Right? And we've got a couple of potential people, and so we got to get we got to get the, we've got to get the 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 things, the collections, and all the things out of the way, and decide and trying to decide what you're going to keep and what I you're going to let go. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, anyway, so pray for me because I'm kind of I'm pretty much on my own today, uh, just kind of going through stuff. I'm sure my brother will be there at some point, and maybe my sister in law, but it's me today in the house. It's going to be weird. Lots so. of Kleenexes. <laughs> I'm already Everybody starting. Like I'm already starting. I it's know. Insane, right? it's so, fine. but anyway, but I'm taking. Uh, you know, we get some days off from school to handle that kind of stuff. So this is one of my days. So, and pray for my substitutes that have to handle my kids. Anyway, that'll be fun. Uh, we want to talk about Barry and Rebecca Richards with the Exit Realty Garden Gate. Exit Realty Garden Gate team. Why does that keep rolling off my tongue? I said it for so many years. Same exit team, same wonderful exit team, but they have changed the name. That's it. It's Barry and Rebecca Richards with Exit Prime Realty. There. Eventually, that will roll off my tongue instead of the other. But uh, what they did is they took the office that Rebecca works out of in White House. She's a bro- she is a agent there. Barry is the broker here in Springfield. He has an office on the square. They took those two offices and combined them and just started forming another great team or another same great team with Exit, but uh, under a new name, so a new, a new branch of the company. So it's another branch of the tree, of the Exit tree, but it's Exit Prime Realty. If you want to connect with Rebecca, the number is 615-504-7425, 615-504-7425, uh, whatever you're needing, whether you're buying or selling. Uh, if you want a Robertson County property, they specialize in Robertson County properties because they're in Cross Plains, Cross Plainians, I call them. They've been there 28-something years. But uh, they also buy and sell in the surrounding counties and across the state line in Kentucky. They can do it all. And they they are just, they do it all. They work in the community. They sponsor things. They help people. Barry's putting together a video right now for the Open Door Pregnancy and Resource Center dinner. Uh, he does that every year, does a beautiful job. They sponsor all kinds of events. They're, you know, one of the founding sponsors for the Kilgore Station Bluegrass Festival coming up May 18th and 17th and 18th. And uh, we'll be a part of that. But that's the kind of people they are. And if you need help in real estate, give them a call. Barry, again, the broker right here in Springfield, Rebecca, agent out of White House, and they have taken those two offices to form the new branch of the Turi of Exit. It is Exit Prime Realty. Rebecca's number six one five five zero four six one five five zero four seven four two five. Always please let them know. That. Okay, ladies. We've got- message you and said marty solomon and it's like oh my gosh we mentioned him last week and i got up and put my feet to the ground on sunday morning and went Uh and saw him and it was like i'm kind of glad i hadn't gone to the bema podcast before (laughs) so i could see him for the first time live and in person oh my gosh what a dynamo yeah he's incredible but i now want to go read the other seven letters and do what he did with the letter that that, he he unpacks the whole thing in bema and uh, if you don't know who Marty Solomon is, he does the Bama podcast, and I've listened to all of it. And so I'd already heard the lesson. Yeah. And he yeah. and he brings new things. Every time I hear him, he brings new stuff to the table. But, yeah, if you have not experienced BEMA podcast, and you really need to start at the beginning. Yeah. I know it started in 2016. You need to start in the beginning, and it's a lot. And if you're just really curious about Revelations, go listen to Revelations or listen to the capstones at the ends of the sessions. What he teaches about Revelations is breathtaking, mm. and we don't have time to get into it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Truth, maybe next week truth we'll talk or about word, it. Truth or Word is the one you need to look up that we saw. And it, it's a compact, I mean, it's it, it's a standalone lesson. I shared it on my page. Yeah. You can see, yeah. And it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's fabulous. It's incredible. Yeah. It'll blow and, and again, it, it proved to me, again, what an incredible book the Bible is. Yes. You know, how amazing that you yes. can have that type of yeah. condensed, condensed thinking Mm -hmm. and then we we miss it because we don't know unless you study it you don't know right and i've and i've i've read another book that i'll i may i may bring in and talk about one one friday but it's called um the chamberlain key Mm. and it's similar it's not it's similar to the bible code Mm. but it's like again another layer of the bible that you don't know unless you get into the hebrew unless you get into the original language yeah. and know what's behind the hebraic language you totally miss it yeah and that's been our passion she and i both it's just been yeah i'm just so crazy about yeah. it but we we are strictly out of time and i know we will get more into it if you will come back next week we'll get more into okay, it sure. and what do you want to say on the way out here sweetheart uh-uh. invite him again invite him again come invite on him come, again. come hang out with us tonight 
<coughs> well, go ahead and tell them what tell them what it is because some some people just tune in. Oh my goodness! This is Lisa Fort. <laughs> she is with Redeem Her Now, and it is a women's uh, gathering that they have. It's in the Oat Hickory area. It's called Refresh. I love the name, and it is just a time to refresh your spirit and be with ladies and be in a safe place. And um, I just love the beauty of how it came together. You need to listen to this show and kind of hear the backstory because that's really interesting. But tell them again the address of where you're going to be, the time, and all the what to expect if they come tonight. We will be at We Are Church, 1501 (laughs) Hadley Avenue in Old Hickory. And doors open at 6. We will have uh, refreshments and fellowship. Our meeting starts at 7, so it usually has a component of worship and the Word and prayer and just fellowship and ministry together. And it's not just snacks. It's soup and hearty (laughs) food. And I love how the guys thanks are helping to her husband. It. Yes, yeah. thanks, thanks to our guys. Well, my allergies are telling me it's time for me to go. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for enduring uh, enduring all of our little technical issues. If you catch this show or share it, first part of it's audio only. Just go through it. It's okay. That's what radio used to be, as my sweet friend Lisa reminded me. <laughs> so crazy. Anyway. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Find a church fellowship to be a part of and go to Refresh tonight. Go and join her for Redeem Her Now. And, oh, my goodness, please stick around.